Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Jay Burness and I run a concussion-focused functional neurology and chiropractic practice in Oakville, Ontario. Got a message this morning from an old patient of mine, uh, and it's uh, Jennifer, and she says, Hi Dr. Jay, I don't know if you recall, but I was a patient of yours last year. My life has been back to normal up until this last weekend when I hit my head again. I took a volleyball to the face and I feel like my symptoms are all coming back now. What should I do? Jennifer. Well, Jen, it's nice to hear from you again. Uh, and my first answer to you is, is not to panic, all right? So I would say about 30% of the patients I see will hit their head again in a year or so after they've seen me. and. Uh, and one thing I find with almost all concussion patients is they are going to be sensitive, let's say, to head bumps for about a year or so uh, after they're done treatment with me. And, and you know, in I've seen this many, many times, and I would say 90, 95 percent of the time, if I bring these people back to my office and reevaluate them again, uh, there's no evidence of their original condition returning whatever was fixed is still fixed but what i do find with people like this is that they they uh like i say they're they're sensitive to head, head bumps but but i think the uh anxiety of hitting their head again is actually a bigger issue than the actual injury itself it's I, maybe one person in 10 who hits their head again especially something like this a uh, uh, you know a relatively soft object to the face. I'm sure it hurt, but uh, you know, not likely to do a lot of brain damage, but it is a shock to the system. And, and if you ramp up your anxiety and worry, then guess what? You're gonna become more sympathetic again, and a lot of those symptoms are gonna start to reemerge. So my, my advice for, for Jennifer and for everybody who has this problem is again, not to, not to panic and to give yourself some time. I've said in previous videos, you know, 80% of patients who have a concussion, even if this is a concussion, you know, 80% of those people are going to get better again on their own in the course of about a month uh, without doing anything. And so usually if somebody's had a little bump like this, I'm gonna recommend, okay, you know, get back on the diet, do the, all the anti-inflammatory stuff, do your supplementation, and let's just wait. Let's wait a, wait a week or two, because there's a good chance in a week they're gonna be back to normal with something like this. And if they're not back to normal after a month, then okay, come in and, and let me have a look at you and see if there's anything there that has reemerged as a problem that you can directly target with a specific exercise or something. So yeah, real common, hitting their head again, very, very common. Again, mostly it's uh, bark is worse than a bite. People are just, just scared, more scared than actually hurt. So, uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's interesting, even about one person in 10, I find, will actually hit their head again while I'm working with them. So we just need to be a little bit more careful. And, and you know, this, uh, she, uh, she was not a volleyball player before, so I assume this was just kind of a pickup game or something where she got hit. Um, so it's not like she's returned to a sport that was a, was a risky activity for her in the first place. Uh, you know, those are, that's never a good idea. I kind of have a, I have a two concussion rule. If a patient is playing a sport and they have two concussions doing that sport, then I would say don't don't play that sport anymore, right? It, uh, beyond the two concussions, things just get worse and worse with uh, with subsequent hits. Okay, so uh, again, this this particular uh, uh, contact again was was through my website through the uh, like patient contact page. If you just go up to uh, where is it contacts here. Um, you get this box coming up and you just fill out this box and, and, and this, these come right to, these will come right to my desk and, and uh, I'm happy to try and answer any questions that you may have and be of whatever help I can be to you. So uh, thanks for watching.